y'all welcome back to the trailer park pull up a seat on the porch <laughs> let's have a chat this is a new episode of me deep cleaning decluttering and organizing my really 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 messy single wide i have previous episodes listed down below in the description box we have tackled so many rooms already and we've got so many more to go we're turning this trailer inside out we're doing more cleaning today but first We've got to get our dinner in the crock pot. We're doing a pantry challenge. I feel like we're forever doing a pantry challenge over here because of price groceries. <laughs> but we're going to play around with roast. Well, not play around because I don't play around my, with my food. I don't play around with my food. <laughs> but I am all about experimenting and I love roast and I love this stuff. So, you know, everybody goes crazy over that Italian roast recipe with the pepperoncini. I think it's Italian dressing. Well, I don't have pepperoncini because this is a pantry challenge. So I'm just gonna use this stuff and a little bit of seasoning and call it done. I'm also gonna put potatoes in there with my roast though. So I'll get the potatoes and the roast in the crock pot and they'll be the Italian style. Hopefully it's good, fingers crossed. And then I can like roast real quick some frozen vegetables in the air fryer tonight. Hopefully when I get done cleaning the areas we're gonna deep clean today for part three of this series. If you've missed the first two parts, I will link them down below in the description box. We tackled the kitchen, the guts and everything of the kitchen. And then we tackled the laundry room and the living room. Today we're gonna to tackle the hallway and the bathrooms. And I am not excited about it, but we're gonna do it cause we're blessed to have a home. All right, it's already getting late. The kids are doing their independent stuff now. It's already late so let's just get this done in the crock pot so we're not eating at like eight o'clock tonight even though that would give me more time to clean but we're not gonna think that way we're gonna think about we need to feed ourselves earlier than that so <laughs> we're not giving us any excuses to, to be slow we need to get the daggone thing done so this is this is a behind the scenes video by the way look it looks like a whole different house this is a behind the scenes video of what how how many times marina talks herself into something and out of that thing daily i'm always talking myself into something in my head and then rethinking it because like mm, that's not a good idea so then i have to talk myself out of the thing i talk myself into and that is shame Yeehaw! yellow hey Listen, I have cat. This is the only dishes in my sink and they're all rinsed off. So like, they're not dirty or gunky or nothing. Except for the breakfast that was just there. But they're not dirty or gunky or nothing. Like, the only thing on the table is the school stuff, which we still have to come back to after the kids get done doing their independent stuff. Cammy did leave his bowl over here though. But we have been keeping, not just me y'all, not just me. We have been keeping the kitchen and the living room since I've done it and the laundry room so clean as a family and it makes me want to cry. It makes me want to cry because they watched me. We all proved that video that I did. I'm seriously going to cry. We all proved that video that I did. The first video where I did the in and outs of this kitchen and my kids were like, Mama, we're going to help you from now on. And they have stayed true to that like they have cleaned up after themselves colton literally had made himself breakfast this morning i got up and i was doing some things and he was over here making himself breakfast already and i was like boy what are you doing he's like i'm making myself breakfast and everybody else and he's like don't worry i'll clean up after i'm done my boy is so good hearted but like that's a new version <laughs> i cannot take the credit for how good my house looks right now the main living area these kids and their daddy have helped so much and it shows and that just shows you what a family dynamic can do to your home mama can't get it all done as much as we think we can we really can't and if we do it's at the expense of our mental health and that's not good it's at the expense of our attitude too because everybody walks around fly lady i'm reading that fly lady book and she talks about what pe what she calls a martyr and it's a mom that walks around thinking in her head all day i do i do this all the time or i always have to do this or here i am cleaning this up again and she tells you to get out of that mindset and i don't usually think like that i don't walk around and clean my house and think oh i just did this and my family's doing this to me that's one thing i'm blessed that i don't think of i don't think that like that uh, but i do detest and i do 
not like cleaning you guys know if you've been here for a while I'm not one of those youtubers that really I'm not a person at all that really enjoys cleaning it's hilarious that God has put me on YouTube and a lot of the things that I do on YouTube involve cleaning <laughs> but I do have that martyr mindset when it comes to I have to do this again or oh, I really don't want to do it or I dread doing it so bad and I had to kind of talk myself out of that and I have to talk myself out of that day to day that is a way that I have thought for a really long time so it's going to take a good while to get my mind out of that off that track and onto another one you know what i'm saying but check out the laundry and then i promise we'll get started on on the crock pot you know i showed you guys when the last video ended that i had two loads of dark a towel and a load of colors well i finished the two loads of dark so now i just have a couple of towels and a load of colors I've been doing a load of laundry a day, as many of you have told me to, and it's working really good, so thank you. Now let's get this roast in the crock pot. Like I said, don't take me to the bank on this recipe. Don't go putting it in your crock pot just yet either. Wait and see how we like it. Somebody once said you can never mess up a chuck roast, and they just ain't met me yet. I can mess up anything. We're going to use this roast that I got from Aldi's. This is a really nice looking roast. Aldi has the best meat. And we're gonna use my little babysitter, sis. My babysitter. Is this how it's gonna be today, Marina? Is your mind gonna work like this? Cause like, you need to calm down. Please calm down. Actually, I don't need to calm down because I need to get stuff done. I need this energy to continue on into the bathroom to deep clean. Do you see how I just did that? I was just telling y'all about that. I just talked myself into something. You need to calm down. And then I talked myself directly out of the thing I talked myself out of. No, you don't. You need to get this bathroom done. <laughs> Man, they put it in like this meat girdle. Good gosh. So we're going to put that in there. And then also, can I just look at how tidy up here looks? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Actually, I probably have one in the dishwasher. I'm going to cut up some potatoes and put in there with it. I really am just playing around with this, but I'm not playing around with it enough to mess it up. So I'm just going to stay with Reliable, which is my taters, and I'm going to cut me up some taters to throw in here. I know that we all like the Italian dressing, so I knew that was safe to put in there. And then, you know, seasonings and stuff like that isn't a lot. So we're not going to put no mayo and sour cream and onion chips or anything like that in here. We're keeping it simple, but still, you know, spicing it up a little bit. I'm cutting these with the, probably the wrong knife because it was extremely hard for me to cut through and I'm just going to pour everything on top of it. Olive Garden Italian dressing, half a big old container of beef broth, and then I'm actually going to sprinkle the packet Italian dressing over it too, just so there's a lot of Italian seasoning on the taters, because we like our taters seasoned with Italian. We love that stuff. Almost as good as the ranch, but not as good. I had an intrusive thought to add ranch in here, but then I decided, no, you know, it's probably got enough. It's probably got enough. I'm going to put these potatoes up, because I'm putting myself away as a cook. Have y'all noticed that? I put up my scissors too. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I've been changing my wax melts out of my wax warmers every two days to keep them fresh. And this has been making my home smell so good. These are the, these are by Cincy. I think these are the, the Coastal Sunset or something. Um, they smell really, really good, especially with my coconut candle that I've been using down. I have like a third of it left. Cause I've been using it every day. But I've been changing these out to keep them fresh and it's been keeping my house smelling so good doing that. Usually I would let one go for like a few days to a week and then they lose their smell by like that third day. So I've just been every two days switching them out and putting a new one in. I, if you're wondering why I got them out my freezer too, it makes them easier to pop the wax out of them watch. Everybody in the mom probably knows this hat, but I like to show it off every now and then. Yep. <laughs> just like that. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Woo. Let's pick our wax warmer. I've been using a lot of my Scentsy ones because if y'all remember, I, I bought like <laughs> a crap ton from my neighbor. And 
I got all the ones that were on sale so I could get more. And back then, the, the spring and summer ones were on sale. So in the smack dab of winter, I bought a spring and summer wax melts, but it came in handy because now I have a crap ton of spring and summer wax melts. And I got them on sale so that I could get more. I use, let's see, this is the one that I just pulled out of my wax warmer. It's the Coastal Sunset. It's purple. Y'all see it yet? I picked these and we're gonna let my girl, cause she's a stitch fan. We're gonna let her put them in there for us. You wanna set them on the wax warmers? Yeah. This, does this one go to this one? Mm -hmm. And the other one goes to the one in the living room. You make sure that one's on when you put it in there? Yeah. This is the one that we got going on in the wax warmer right now. And this is the candle I've been burning the heck out of. It's salted sea spray from Mainstays. It smells uh, like a clean coconut, whatever that smells like. It's almost gone. So before we start tackling any rooms to declutter and organize and all that stuff we're going to maintain the areas we've already went through deep cleaned decluttered and organized just to stay on top of things so i'm going through my kitchen and just doing a quick load of dishes and also going over to my laundry room and transferring a load or two of laundry before i do anything else that way the other areas of the home are tidy while i make a huge mess in order to clean a mess in the rooms that we're tackling today because we all know that's how it works <laughs> we always have to make a, a mess in order to clean a mess <laughs> big batch of cookie dough for the kiddos and I've been keeping it in the refrigerator to keep it cool and I, fr I froze a batch too but this one I kept in the refrigerator to keep it cool so I'm just going to take it out while I have time and while I'm in here working in the kitchen anyway and I'm going to spoon them out some cookies on the pan and bake them some cookies for a treat.
couple people tell me that they love my new clothes and these clothes aren't new that I've been wearing in these videos. They have just been at the back of my closet and when I did my last clothes declutter, I made myself promise that I would wear what I kept. So I've been going to the very back of my closet and getting stuff I haven't touched in ages and wearing that rather than picking my normal paint covered pajamas all the time. Obviously I'm wearing my paint covered pajama shirt today, but I paired it with a pair of pants that I hadn't worn in a hot minute. Pants, pajamas, it's all the same to me. You can make me the tidiest person on the planet. I can be the clean queen, but I will forever be in my pajamas. That, that's nothing's gonna change about that. <laughs> In the world that we live in today, we gotta find those little things that make us happy and my jammies are just that, so I'ma work it in my jammies. First stop for deep cleaning is the hallway. and I do mop my floors rather than hand wash. I hardly ever hand wash my floors, but with this series of me really deep cleaning the ins and outs of my home, I really, really wanted to focus on detail and hand washing my floors helped me focus on the little details that I would miss while mopping. We're done with the hallway. 
We didn't get done with the hallway and both the bathrooms before our dinner. I don't know who that was. That girl was a more motivated marina than this marina before we're eating dinner. And then I'm gonna tackle both of the... Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna tackle both of the bathrooms after dinner and after we clean up after dinner. This is almost done, so we're gonna pop this into the oven and roast it. It's just some stir fry and some sweet potato fries and I'm going to season those with Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. We're playing Chef Boyardee over here today. <laughs> We're just coming up with stuff. I have my pan in there and I've had it in there while the oven's preheating and it's preheated now. So the pan's gonna be super hot as soon as we put all this on it, which will help it cook. And we're gonna cook the vegetables on 425 for about 35 minutes. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend this. The potatoes were so good. That seasoning was perfect on them. I did have to salt the meat a little bit, but the potatoes were perfect. On to the kids' bathroom. these Lysol cleat gels because I like them. I'm just trying to get them out of my house. They don't do anything to my toilet whatsoever. I don't know why I use them. These are the tidy bowl things that you put in the, put in the back of the toilet though. Those things work, but as for the Lysol, I call them Lysol gummies, they do not do anything. Like there's no smell, there's no freshness, nothing. It just looks like a piece of gum hanging on the side of the toilet. They might have like a faint smell at the very beginning, but after, it, I mean, not even 24 hours, like you can't smell it anymore. So it really does just look like a little gummy bear stuck on the inside of your toilet.
be mad I'm taking away his condo. A mouse? Yeah, I got a mouse trap in here. Y'all hear Nanny? A mouse. I got a mouse trap in here because I thought I was hearing something. It's been in here about six months and it, I, it ain't caught nothing. So either it's really, really smart mouse or it's not made this bathroom its condo. I don't know. my bathroom which was my most dreaded room in the entire house probably was my dugout as I've been calling it in this series which is just basically my headquarters so I wanted to get everything I was getting rid of all the trash and stuff cleared off of it and use it as like my starting point for everything else in the bathroom this what was that? <laughs> so everything that I'm throwing away off of this countertop I've thrown away I've got this I'm gonna wipe this out and I'm going to put my perfumes and body sprays in here however much fits in here I'm keeping whatever doesn't fit in here I'm not keeping I have to get rid of that's how I'm gonna keep this contained because y'all know I'm a scent fanatic. My teeth might be messed up. I might have a booger hanging out here and there but one thing's for sure if I walk past you you ain't gonna smell skunk. I'm gonna smell good. You walk in my house it ain't gonna smell like turd. It's gonna smell good. I'm a scent fanatic. It's not that I cover up the stink either like I wash my tail but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm keeping this Victoria's Secret love spell is one that I'm keeping. Pink ice is my absolute favorite perfume ever and I have Versace and I have opium pink ice is still my most favorite perfume ever ten dollars I think it's still ten dollars I've been getting it since I was 16 <laughs> ten dollars between one you cannot beat it it's like a dupe for the pink Versace I have the pink Versace Versace and it smells just like this almost I have like five of these laying around the house right now. That's how good it is. I always give me one every time I pass through 21. I'm getting rid of the Aeropostale Peach Daisy. I got this when I noticed Walmart started selling Aeropostale brand body sprays and lotions. And I like it. It's very fresh. But it lingers clabber. So like you smell it. You spray it at first and you're like, ooh, springy, peachy smell. That smells really good. Then a few minutes later, you move your arm to wave at somebody and you get a sour smell and you're like, man, them peaches went rotten real quick. <laughs> That's what it smells like. So we're getting rid of this. It does smell good at first, but it's, it does not hang around. I got this at the flea market. It's a pink perfume uh, body spray. It's a uh, beach nectar. It's got salty papaya and pink guava in it. And I, I bought this at the flea market. Pretty sure it's water in a bottle because... It has a very tint of a smell, but it does not last long, and it feels like you just spritzed the water on your body. So, like, yeah, I it, they they put water in a bottle and sold this to me. I have nobody to blame but myself for that either. 
I'm using this wooden stuff box right here as like the area where I keep all the stuff I'm decluttering that isn't trash. So everything that I'm decluttering is going in that. But then I'll bring in trash bags because this room isn't big enough for piles. And usually when I'm going through and organizing, decluttering, and deep cleaning a room, I put everything around me in piles. I make a crop circle. That's literally what I do and it works for me. This room wasn't big enough for that. So in order to like kind of make myself trick my mind, uh, that's my promise ring that Shane got me and I love it. It's my first ever promise ring got me and I absolutely love it. But, um, in order to trick my mind, I went and I got trash bags. So because I couldn't fit piles around me in the small room, I used the trash bags as my piles and I would put everything like items in each trash bag. So face products in one, dental products in another, um, just different things like that. Fingernail polish in another, uh, medicine in another. And I would use the trash bags as piles and I didn't throw them away once I got done with this because they, they weren't technically used. I literally just had stuff sitting in them for an hour or two. So I'd put everything in those. And then when I went to empty the trash bags and put everything that was in the trash bags in its home, I realized how much of the stuff in the trash bags I really didn't want to keep because it didn't fit in its home. So then I was able to kind of do a, what do I like better? what do I like less kind of thing and keep the stuff that I really really wanted to keep and get rid of the stuff that was already in the trash bag that I really didn't care about whether I kept or not always pretty smiles are covering our faces you know it is all lies you know it is all lies on and on and on it goes round and round the rodeo breathing out air for a minute taking my time to begin with on and on and on it goes swing it down brushes in that little pencil thing it's actually for like a desk but I use it for my makeup brushes and my little spongy things and then I am putting all of our perfumes and Shane's cologne in the next on the next shelf so this is what I'm getting rid of <laughs> Halloween costume makeup getting rid of an old eyeliner pencil some julep lipstick Maybelline matte lipstick eyeshadow glue uh, plumping lip gloss box box more eyeshadow glue more maybelline lipstick um this one is lipstick queen lipstick uh, maybelline great lash mascara brow gel burt's bee chapstick a nyx lippy actually two nyx lippies some nyx matte spray um, I'm almost out of this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's just a lip mask. Um, whatever this, this is. What is that? Looks like a rock from Stonehenge. Um, this old, old as dirt, uh, LA Colors, oh snap, eyeshadow palette from Dollar Tree. I've had this for probably 10 years. Oh, this is a uh, glitter glitter brows. I don't do glitter brows, so there. Um, this is a liquid eyeliner. It's dried up. Um, and then this pen, random pen. 
that's all the makeup I'm getting rid of. I'm going to use this little black wire hanger thing I have on the door for just the little hair products I have. Okay. I am probably the most overwhelmed I've ever been in a room because this room is so small and every surface is covered and I have no room to move anything. I don't know the correct way to fix this. So like I, I've never been this overwhelmed in a room at all ever. I just closed that so y'all couldn't see Dookie stains. Um, what I'm gonna do, I don't know what to do. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get several different bags and I'm going to fill those bags with like items. So, um, medicines in one bag, scents in another bag, nail polish in another bag, like that, to keep everything out of the way and together. And then go in and put everything in its home that I create for it. Let's do it that way. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's the way that... The only way that I can see that I can actually get this done in here. like a volcano has erupted and ash is just everywhere in here it is so dusty working in sections on this vanity because it's the only way I can get it done. It's such a small space. So I did the corner and then I moved on to the middle part and then now I'm moving on to the right side which is where the sink is and I'm just going to wipe down the sink really good and sanitize it really good so that way I have a clean surface just so I can mess it up again and bring everything out from around the cabinets up onto the counter and go through it.
yet to unpack from our beach trip so i'm waiting on i'm waiting to do that for whenever i'm in my bedroom where all the luggage is and the kids bedrooms where their luggage is uh when i unpack that stuff i'm sure i'm gonna be met with some surprises but i'm also gonna have more hair tools to add here we're getting rid of these stuff is leaving y'all okay so first round is finally organized we got some alcohol swabs, some kiddos band-aids, some adult band-aids. These are the ones with the pictures on them. I use those too, if you want my honesty. <laughs> Gauze, and that's in this one. The rest of them went into the first aid kit that we're putting in the car. Over here we got our clippers, nail files, the little paper nail things that stick to your fingers that drive me nuts, but they're really pretty. And then some fair nail polish, not all of it, but that's so far, that's all that I found so far. And then here is just like a miscellaneous body being I guess you could say we've got my mitt for self tanning for when I want to make another mistake <laughs> we've got this uh I don't even know it's like body lotion stuff I got this at Ollie's while we were out of state and one of us was really itching I was looking for bug bite lotion this is the only soothing lotion I found so I got it and then this is for when we get sunburned this is tanning lotions I got one time that we just know I didn't use because I'm wise a ghost uh got some calamine here got some spray tan this is tanned af i don't know how long i've had that but i, I used the saint tropez this last time both of them made me orange i uh, got some arctic ice paint relieving gel got some body butter bedtime butter uh sunscreen and the thing for when you don't use sunscreen that's kind of miscellaneous but that's the only like body stuff i really want to keep so i'm just putting it all Combining it all and putting it in this body bin, we're calling it. These are all the containers that we decluttered. Everything that was in these, we condensed down and decluttered what was left over. I'm going to see if I can use these in anything else. Hopefully I can. Everything is condensed down to very little and organized under here. So we have our main medicine thing that I went through and condensed all that medication down. And then we have our fairnail polish and our body stuff. Right here we have what little hair products I kept. And then we have our mouse stuff right there. And then right there we have our big heating tools. And right there I have all of my hair products. Like when I go to bleach it and dye it and stuff. So these bags here helped me make it piles. I'm going to do my quotation. Piles of stuff without having the room to make piles in this little bathroom. But I also at the end, because I've already organized everything. I don't have much room for nothing else. It really makes you think about what you really want to keep and what you don't. And it's easier to declutter stuff that way. So I highly suggest doing it that way. Up here, I've got all the stuff that I should be using at night and in the morning for like my face. So hopefully putting it here, I'm doing better about routines and stuff. Not the best, but doing better than I was like last year whenever I decluttered this bathroom. So I, one thing I do always use is I do always use my deodorant nonetheless. So hopefully I can get in the habit of washing my face in the morning and night and putting on face cream and stuff if I'm not wearing makeup. I got my hair bows just here beside this lamp. This lamp is staying in here to give us extra light because it's really dim in here. And this little decorative plant beside it just to give it a oomph. Over here, I don't know what I'm putting on the top here. But right here we've got body sprays and colognes, eye stuff and hair stuff, my travel makeup bag, and my stationary makeup bag or box. Here is my Weight Watchers thing. <laughs> Look how dusty it is. This is my, which one is this? My 10 pound milestone. Whenever you lose weight on the Weight Watcher app and they can like verify it and stuff, they send you a milestone. So I have my 5 pound milestone here where I lost 5 pounds and 10 pounds. My 15 pound one and 20 pound one somewhere too. I thought they were up here with them. But I, I, did, I didn't get a 25 pound for some reason. I guess because maybe my weight's fluctuating like crazy and going up and down. But I like to keep these because it reminds me what the goal is. A lot of times we can get lost in the day to day stuff and just cram food in our mouth to stay alive. But seeing these and keeping them out, even though they're dusty, <laughs> remind me of what the ultimate goal is to be around longer for my kids and my grandkids. Look at the dust. Oh my gosh. Like, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's pull this down and see. Okay, that's like a, that's not just a dusting. That's, that's an inch of, an inch of dust there. Oh my gosh. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down 
Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back, yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine, I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay I know you didn't ask for any of this But we beat for the sky, cause we're flying colors now Washing my shower curtains now. Who is this? Okay, real quickly, I'm going to clean out my toilet. I'm going to do that off camera and then we're going to work on the floors. No, then we're going to work on dusting and then we're going to work on the floors. This is the pile of junk, stuff, and trash that is leaving my house this go around. I feel like we're just getting rid of so much stuff every time. This is the before. Let's get a really good appreciation for this before and this after. <laughs> Yes, we're doing the daggone thing, y'all. I'm so pumped to get the rest of this house done. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.